Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I have a special video for you planned today. Today we are going to be reviewing, and I might botch the name of it, but Etexy, Etexy, E-T-E-K-C-I-T-Y. It's always listed in the description box below. Sorry if I botched the name of the company. This is a Bluetooth transmitter and receiver, meaning any device that you want to make Bluetooth, you can make Bluetooth. I will get into the specifics in just a little bit. We'll show you an example. There's a lot of awesome things you can do with this. Plug it into your television, have Bluetooth headsets on for your viewing pleasure so that you don't have to like wake the whole house up or anything like that. You could turn all sorts of gadgets that don't have Bluetooth capability into receiving or transmitting. It's very, very awesome. Let me run a couple specs by you guys real quickly here. This is version Bluetooth 4.1. Operation frequency is 2.402 through 2.480 gigahertz. Supported profiles are RXA2DP. AVRCP slash TXA. 2DP. TX working time AUX about 15 hours. RX working time AUX about 15 hours. TX working time SPDIF about 12 hours. RX working time SPTDIF about 12 hours. Battery type is 3.7 volt 350 milliamp lithium polymer battery. Charging time is about two hours. Well without further ado let's open this up and let me show you what we got. Package comes open and it's very very small as we can tell right there. Let's go ahead and lift this guy on out and get it out of the little package here and there she is right there we'll get a close-up shot in just a second here we have the AUX port here in and out the DC 5 volt micro USB charging plug area port there on and off button on the side here is TX or RX and then also another flip button for SPDIF AUX Nice little flat black as well. Let me give you a quick example. So this camera is a 60D Canon DSLR. This is a Canon lens cap right here. And that is a very similar type object. This one obviously is square. This one is round, but not too bad at all. It goes a little bit thicker in the back, but let's get some close-up shot flushing. So here we go right here, matte black. And again, raises up in the back there. Nothing on the bottom there. And on the back, we have our out and in. Charging port here, AUX here. And then on this side is TXRX and then SPDIF and AUX switch there with our little LED light indicator there and power on and off button there. All right, let's see what else is in the box here. We have, obviously we have our charging cable, which is right here. That is a micro USB as well. You probably have a bunch of those lying around the house already. We also have a audio cable in and out, red and white. And let me give you approximate estimation on that one. That is gonna be a good, probably eight inches or so, maybe nine inches tip to tip. And again, that would go into your television's audio ports. And then the AUX is down on this side, AUX female. And then also inside here, we have a double AUX pin here. So it goes AUX in, and then you could also go AUX in something else for like a receiver, Kenwood, Sony, you guys get the idea there. We also have a digital audio cable, which is fantastic. I actually have used those in the past. Not too many oftentimes, but definitely nice. And then we have a short male to male AUX cable as well, which is very short. That is probably six inches, five inches or so. So we definitely have some sweet little adapters. And again, look in the description box for the link. You can see more detailed stuff about this and get a little bit general idea. They have some really cool pictures, show you some ideas maybe that I don't mention in this video. So it's always linked in the description box below. If they sell or sell one like it for you guys in the UK, look as well. I always link for the UK viewers. We have a nice little instruction manual here and it has has a very nice instruction manual. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this up to some device and show you one example of what it can do. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you one example. Again, this is just one example in many different options, again, for receiving or transmitting. This is a two for one right here. I'm gonna be using it right now as a receiver, and so let me show you exactly what that means. This is a pair of Beats headphones. Uh, I believe these are studio, and they have the AUX cord pulled into the earphone cup here, of course, and these are not Bluetooth. I repeat, these headphones right here are not Bluetooth, but I'm turning them in to Bluetooth. Well, you still have to have a cord, but there are a few options for this. Let me show you. You might have seen a video like this. Again, this is just one option for this device. 
but you just wrap this cord all the way around and you get a shorter cord, obviously. This is kind of a longer cord, but you would wrap this cord all the way around your ear cup here and you could even mount this on the outside of it. It's not gonna be the prettiest thing, but it will do, especially for the gym. And guess what? These headphones now become Bluetooth headphones. So obviously, like if you're just chilling on the airplane or whatever, you know, you mounted that. Again, smaller the cord, the better. You could, oh, I'm sorry, you could even use this little guy right here. Mount that bad boy right on the side of your ear cup. A little bit of JB Well, double stick tape. You guys get the idea there. And then, all you do is I paired up this device here. It's all in the instruction manual here. So I paired my iPhone to this, the box we just saw, the transmitter, which is gonna be the receiver for the music. I play that, you switch it over to obviously, it shows you everything to do in the directions, but now these headphones are receiving Bluetooth music to the headphones. Let me show you guys on camera. Let me turn it up so you guys can hear it. And you can use this, the power button, hit it one time. To pause it, you hit it again to play the music. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and pause that there. We can't play too much music because of copyright strikes, of course, you guys are familiar with that. But again, with this model, it's awesome because it comes with so many different options for your tuner. You can turn your TV into Bluetooth, wireless here, wireless there. You guys get the idea, there's a lot of awesome ideas you can use with this device. Again, it will be linked below so you guys can read more about it because there's probably a lot of unanswered questions because I can't just get into every single example. That would take too long. It'd be like a 30, 40 minute video. But again, the link will lead you guys to find out more information about it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. The review passes my test. Looking forward to trying this in my car actually for Bluetooth. So stay tuned for that one as well. Probably on my car channel, which is listed below as well. I will see you guys on the next review. My name is Chris. Have a wonderful day.